Good morning fellow option traders and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday April 24th 2014. Well let's go over yesterday's news. This was a biggie right here as uh, they were expecting 455,000 uh, existing home sales and came up with only 384,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a 15% miss, and you would think that that would have, uh, actually it says 14.5%. Um, by my calculations, it's 15, but anyway, uh, just a half a percent difference. Um, that is kind of a biggie. Didn't have all that much of an impact to the market, but I think what it's telling us here is that uh, and in this article, they kind of reflect that too. Um, housing is very expensive, and it's squeezing out the small guy, putting him into multi-tenant. They used to call it multi-family, but there's not that many families anymore. So we'll just call it multi-tenant housing, um, or some sort of public housing or something, or no housing at all maybe a car or whatever and so things aren't all as rosy as what they may want you to think it is so that was kind of disturbing to me and uh, this uh, manufacturing index did miss just a tad but today we have durable good orders and jobless claims so expect jobless claims probably to come in pretty good because uh, there's not that many jobs left that people are getting laid off from I guess I don't know and you know it's and we're in the middle of spring so probably um, you know looking for a lot of outside work that hasn't been that nobody's been able to do over the extremely cold and bitter winter here in the US all right, uh, let's take a look at what's going on across the pond. So we're mixed over in Asia and in Europe. We are green across the board. Okay, what's going on here? In the U.S., we are looking slightly up, positive for the open. Gold is uh, still can't quite claw, claw back to that 1300 mark. And oil is up to 101.58 overnight. So that's uh, kind of bitter news on the oil front. Here I have this Chevron. Remember I was doing these calendars? And I have this long put here. And I was hoping that maybe I would be able to do something with it. There's really not a good play on that. Uh, I paid $1.53 for it. And I had a couple of short puts against it on my calendar and recovered most of that end up pretty flat on this particular trade and if I sell it today I'll get well let's put it this way it's telling me that I may get this is the last trade not the bidder ask so if I get a nickel for it and let's see that would be five dollars plus a buck and a quarter or minus a buck and a quarter so I still get a little bit of uh, money out of this one so I have a note to go ahead and close that thing out today and uh, hopefully I remember to get to it it's not a big one on the top of my priority list entered Amazon and LinkedIn yesterday now I know Amazon has earnings uh, let's take a look at the chart here yeah see here's what's going on with Chevron and there's no way that I'm going to be able to uh, pull any, you know, do like another calendar on this because it's just way too far away from my strike at 110 down here. Uh, okay, Amazon, I uh, wanted to let you know what my thinking was here. They do have earnings after the bell tonight. So I thought, well, let me see if I can do a quickie trade on this and maybe pull something out maybe 50 bucks or something like that overnight because I did collect a dollar 25 on it so I'm thinking well if I can get 50 cents I would be happy looks like it may not work out that way this morning 
So I may end up losing something here. Um, which tells me, it sort of tells me here that they're expecting good earnings and it would be an extreme surprise if they weren't good earnings. That's pretty much the way others have been looking, you know, the day before earnings after hours, the price moves up or down or whichever, and it's kind of an indicator of which, what the anticipation is on the earnings announcement. So that may be, end up being a loser, but this was just going to be an overnight trade. Not really an earnings play, because I think that it's going to... We're going to have the same thing as what we just saw with Apple, which is here. Okay, so Apple had pretty good earnings, so we will be seeing, actually, a gap up so big it would be off the chart here. So you can see our line on this chart. We can't even see it over here on this chart. So there's our crosshairs. Look at look right here. There's our crosshairs coming down there. So you can see that it's going to be off the charts this morning. So that's a huge move for Apple. So they beat by 60 cents. And you must have uh, good forecasts. That's all I can say. All right, so I'm glad we didn't, you know, my thinking was negative on Apple, but I'm glad we didn't do anything. All right, now, um, another one that I entered into yesterday uh, is LinkedIn and TLT. And we'll take a look at those on the chart when we get to them. So I think I want to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to switch over to, I'm going to put the chart up here. Uh, daily and 30 minute chart. I'll put it up here so we don't have to be switching back and forth a lot. Slide that over a tad. All right. And we can handle this, right? That should not be a problem. Now we, no, we still can't see it. Man. That's going to really blow the top off of this chart, isn't it? That's pretty amazing. Okay, so here's Apple. Uh, nothing going there. It's going to be a fun day to watch that. The uh, uh, the bulls are going to be really loving it. Amazon's earnings are today. And we are in this one with an overnight trade. 50-50 and a one-to-one risk-reward. Let's take a look at Boeing. They had also pretty good earnings. And they beat by uh, 22 cents. So they may be in for a trend reversal here. So I'm glad we did not get in on this one with a bear call. So let me get rid of this. In case there are any old drawings here. Okay, Baidu. All right, we have earnings coming up on Baidu today after the market close. I want to take any bets on it. I'm not taking any bets on it. So we're just going to sit back and watch that one. Celgene, uh, they did have earnings. No. Nope. Today, before the market opens. So it looks like somebody was making some bets last night. There's a lot of buying as the price was bid up here. There goes that finger bumping that thing again. Uh, so that's interesting. That's interesting. So it's too late to make a, you know, take a chance on this one. So we're going to delete there must be some old drawings here, so we're going to get rid of those. All right, Chipotle. <laughs> what is wrong with Chipotle? I mean, I don't mean to laugh at them or anything, but this is this is uh, ugly. I think that uh, it's way overpriced anyway. I'm going to delete all drawings here. 
and we're still waiting for I'm going to put our target up here still waiting for um, a move up here to let us in on this new trend reversal that we have going here uh, and Costco it's just not giving us an entry this was a pretty long uh, bearish move here actually so we're just um, going to sit in here and maybe keep an eye on this one for a while I don't like waiting this many days for this to make a move to let us in we could have gotten in here um, I'm glad we didn't <laughs> so we saved ourselves on that one what am I doing oh this is just a habit is what I got going here uh, CVX as I mentioned we'll be getting rid of that long put that we have and we're waiting for an entry down here but we have earnings coming up looking at the Dow and a possible entry here still waiting for that one to develop Igor uh, just marching right on up there let me see if I got any get rid of any old drawings here just do that every once in a while just to clean things up put a new one there and uh, whether it's going to give it to us before earnings or not I don't know FedEx uh, FedEx is coming in nice maybe possibly giving us an entry on this new uptrend with a bull put waiting for that one F5 Networks uh, they had pretty good earnings so after the market yesterday they're going to gap up a little bit here and they will resume their upward march I would imagine so my bet would be let's delete all drawings here my bet would be down here according to what I'm seeing we see that um, we went pretty flat here but overall we got the uh, EMA is uh, in an upward trend so that's what I'm thinking we're probably going to get a bounce back up here and then we'll have to wait for it to come down again gold all right, we had an alert on gold yesterday. Even though we got a green green, we did not get a higher price. So we're taking a pass on that. And my bet is that we're probably going to open down a tad this morning. Okay, Google. Yeah, really kind of stellar earnings and they're still still in the doldrums here I guess you might say probably could take a 20 Delta on this like I did with TLT we'll get down to TLT in a minute here um, but nothing there right now IWM Okay, um, waiting for it to come down here and give us an entry. And we have, it looks like we have maybe a bunch of old drawings on here, so I'll do that. And then we'll put another, re, put a brand new target down there. LinkedIn, we're in on LinkedIn. Um, and they have earnings next week. I need to zoom in just a tad more here it's just so I can see the weeks on here there we go I wasn't seeing this end of this week so 
So we zoom in a little bit more and then we can see them. All right, well, we're in on this trade. And we'll get rid of that one. Okay. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Doesn't look very hopeful right now. 3M. Looking for an entry down here. Netflix. So I re-signed up again. For those of you who have been watching me for a while, I've been in and out of Netflix. And I re-signed up with them again. I get a free month. I'm going to re-evaluate it again. They, I just... Uh, trying to figure out if we want to go drop... Um, direct TV and go strictly streaming. I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> All right. Um, so they had pretty good earnings, but not this good. And the market is reacting. So we might be back into our new trend here. That's good enough for me to say that this is an alertable trade. So I'll we'll throw an alert on there. All right, price line. All right, price line. Actually, we have. Uh, I really think this is in a downtrend. I'm not really even sure what kind of trend this thing is in. Looking at what happened overnight, uh, nothing. So we're just going to stay away from that. Delete all drawings, clean her up, and let's wait around and see what happens. This could be, you know, possibly a 20 delta trade, but I'm not even going to do that right now. Okay, we're looking at the cues. And we have a bunch of old drawings on here, so let's delete everything, clean it out. And I'm not even sure what we're looking at for here either, but I will throw a target in down here just to see, and maybe we might have a 20 delta trade on that when it comes down to there, if it ever does, and it will eventually. The spiders, we have a bunch of old drawings on that too. We'll clean those up put a new target down here and usually like on these indexes I usually do like 20 deltas on them as I did on TLT now 20 delta roughly should give you a 5 to 1 risk reward just as a 50 delta would give you a 1 to 1 risk reward And of course, if you go into an 80 delta, <laughs> then you have a 1 to 5 risk reward. Okay, so we're down here. That's what I did with uh, May expiration. Just a regular monthly expiration down here. It was 15 cents. 20 cents would give, because it was a dollar between the strikes. Um, 20 cents would have given me the 5 to 1, but 15 to 1 is just barely good enough in my book to go with this, so that's what I did. Tesla, still in an uptrend, so we're waiting here to see uh, what is going to happen and see if it's going to give us an entry. Union Pacific, um, only in a 10 percentile. I think we looked at this before. They uh, were they met almost exactly. Everybody was pretty happy about that. <laughs> okay, that's good. You're not going out of business. But um, we don't have anything interesting here right now. We're still waiting. And last but not least is Visa. And we are waiting on Visa for their earnings tonight. So um, they're going to open this up probably around here 
today, which is nothing stellar. So I'm not just seeing anything interesting in Visa right now either. And since that's the last one, that means that we're done. So everybody have a great day, happy trading, and good luck.